Let's get right to that exclusive new video of a chaotic scene in Huntington that we first told you about last night. Police say five young men were arrested during this confrontation after they allegedly beat a restaurant worker so badly that he had to go to the hospital. And Kevin VC is standing by for us right now, and he leads us off tonight live in Huntington where he's been speaking with customers today. Kevin, what have people been saying? Well, Nikita, customers at this restaurant tell me they're absolutely appalled by what happened, and they say it's unlike anything they've ever seen before in this area. But if you think an attack like this would drive business away, you'd be wrong. In fact, after seeing us report this on News 12, some people told me they came here tonight specifically to support that restaurant. I thought it was terrible. Lori and her friend Maria both live in Huntington, but up until now, they'd never eaten at Vox Hall on Clinton Avenue. That all changed today. Not because they were particularly curious about the food, though they did enjoy it. Instead, they came after hearing about this incident Tuesday night. My God. The melee involving Suffolk police was the aftermath of a brutal assault, according to the restaurant owners. They say a group of around 12 young men were harassing customers at the outdoor tables. A manager stepped in to intervene and was attacked. The victim suffered a broken jaw, needed about a dozen staples in his head, and had several stitches over his eye. After looking at the place online and the whole incident, Marie and I were like, I think we should go down there and support them because that's terrible. Five of the alleged attackers were arrested, ranging in age from 18 to 22. They were charged with rioting and assault. Looking for Nair Daniels? What? Nobody at their homes would talk to us today, but customers say they're hoping the victim gets back on his feet soon and that nothing like this happens here again. You should be able to go to a restaurant and eat in peace and not be harassed. We just hope that it doesn't go any further and this stops. And right now it's not clear when that manager will go back to work. Of course, he has a lot of resting and healing to do, though I imagine when he does go back, there will be a lot of loyal and thankful customers waiting for him. Nikita.